Good to see what happens when it lands. So here we go. Stand clear. That was not a good landing. If a fully loaded A380's landing gear ever failed, the consequences would be devastating. It seems incredible that it works on the same principle as a simple everyday device. So, is it really possible to save this piano using bicycle pumps alone? The landing gear of the world's biggest airliner has a similar design to a set of giant bicycle pumps. Engineer Todd Todeschino aims to prove it by using bicycle pumps to build landing gear for a piano. The piano sits on a plywood sheet to keep it upright as it falls. He mounts the pumps onto the plywood so the handles hit the ground first and push in the pistons. And Todd's made a careful calculation of the exact number of pumps he'll need. 100 of them, nice round number. Nice round number. Well, Loving your science there. But there is method to the madness. The A380's shock absorbers are filled with liquid, not air. So Todd's doing the same. It takes more force to squeeze a liquid out of the pump so it can absorb a much greater shock. By squirting the water out of this hole, that it transfers the energy. It takes it out of the, the piano falling. And it's the energy absorbed in squirting that water out of that hole yes. that will give us our damping, that will yes. slow it down. It would land and it would go like that. A trial run gives exactly the sort of gradual shock absorber Todd's looking for. Unfortunately, bicycle pumps aren't designed for water. Soon, all hundred pumps begin springing leaks in the final stages of landing gear construction. And now it's a race against time. If it looks like we're hurrying, we are. It's dripping. There's a hundred little drips coming out and I'm worried that every drop of water that comes out of the pumps is going to be a drop of that extra cushioning to absorb the energy of the fall. We're just hoping it works. Todd decides to go for a landing while we still have some water left in the pumps. We have to make the drop as soon as possible and put his theory to the test. This is our recreation of the A380 coming in to land, packed with passengers. One 440 pound piano ready to fall at 20 miles per hour. 100 bicycle pumps ready to absorb the shock simply by pumping water. Can this landing gear prevent a catastrophic crash landing? Was this your idea or mine? Yours. Thank you. Five, four, three, two, one, pop! <laughs> Result! <laughs> I think that, that worked! Was I was braced for a disaster, but look! Watch for the water being forced out in the replay. It still looks like a piano, but does it still sound like a piano? Go on, give us a tune. OK, I don't play the piano, but the piano works. That's the key thing. 100 bicycle pumps were enough to bring a falling piano safely to earth. When the A380 comes in to land, the plane's landing gear absorbs the impact in exactly the same way. But it has just five shock absorbers, one for each set of landing gear. Instead of water, they pump oil. It's much thicker, so it can absorb a heavier shock. 617 tons hit the tarmac, and 853 people hardly feel a thing. All thanks to the bicycle pump. The A380 really is a triumph of high-tech engineering. Every single component has been triple-tested to perfection. But for me, 
It's the ideas behind that technology that make this airliner a modern miracle. The wings are only possible thanks to a design by Mother Nature. The highly advanced outer skin wouldn't exist without the brilliance of Mongol bow makers. And it takes a special kind of genius to turn a machine that kills into a machine that saves lives. Simple, really.